We all know that Superworm is the superhero in our garden. But there are other superheroes too, such as our little bee friend here. Because this bee loves words. And though she's smaller than a flower, this bee knows that words have power. In the book called The Bee Who Loved Words. This is the tale of a very small bee with a very long name, Persephone. The other bees' names were short and sweet like Daisy, Lily, Rose and Pete. But Persephone's name was round her head while the other bees all slept sound in their beds. Persephone stayed up late at night determined to learn to spell it right. But she didn't stop there. All year through, Persephone's word collection grew. She wrote on stones, on shells, wherever, and everyone said, Wow, isn't she clever? Except for the Queen Hermione, who wanted a word with Persephone. This writing thing is all very well, but a bee's main task is not to spell. Your job is to look for flowers, my dear, she smiled. I hope I've made that clear. Now fly along quick and pollinate and make sure you don't get home too late. But Persephone knew that words have power. Some are sweet, like I love you, and some are sour, such as keep out, no games, private. Let other bees look for flower juice. She wanted to put her words to use. I've lost my toy, a butterfly sighed. I'll help you find it, Persephone cried. Lost. Toy caterpillar, blue. If found, please give it straight back to Catalina Cabbage, white, second bean pole on the right. And everyone said, what a kind bee, except for the queen, Hermione. Persephone, you're wasting time. Bees should work, not spell and rhyme. Our nectar supply is running low. Now get to work, please. Off you go. Persephone sighed and off she flew. I wonder what happens next in our story about Persephone.